Welcome back! We are here, ready to do the Karrut, and yeah, this should be fun. I guess we're going in the entrance here. Yeah, no, this is uh, this is gonna be some kind of epic battle, I hope. So, looking forward to it. The Karrut should be starting soon. Once it's done, I'll be able to access the chamber below the Karrut's throne. And either. Hopefully. I think I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, actually, I th yeah, I think there's a ton of these that I didn't look at. Because I just missed them. Yeah, I think so. Ah, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? But yes, let's do this thing. Outlander, the chief awaits you in the arena. Pass the throne. Cool. Cool. I'm sure this is going to be very, very safe. This must lead to the arena. Another part of the ruins turned into a fighting ring. Oh man. Look at them all. They know about Rad. Let's go. Aloy. It seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Catalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Catalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. The grove, the arena. It's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the Ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool route where they fell. I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the Chief. Where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that, the defenses will hold. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the north barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the ten. I'll see you when this is done. There's armor in that chest. Take it. Oh. That might prove you. What, what chest? Which which chest? Which chest are we referring to here? <laughs> that chest. This big chest here. Yeah. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much. Hmm. There is armor in this chest. Let's see if it's any good. Outfits. Fine, I think. I'm good. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So which way is quicker? I could technically... No, I guess I couldn't really go down and come back up. Yeah, I'll just go around. This is fine. We'll assist Marshal Catalo regarding the chief. Okay. Oh, it won't let me go this way for some reason. Interesting. Okay, I guess I'm going this way then. Or not? Wait, where am I going? <laughs> I feel like I'm trapped. What's happening? <laughs> oh, do I have to speak to the chief again for some reason? Yeah, no, no, I got that. Why am I trapped here? <laughs> like, am I missing something? Yeah, no, no, I got that. 
Why can't I move? I guess I have to go this way. Okay. Fine. That was weird. I was confused. I was like, why? The, the, the mark says this way. Um, okay, so what can I upgrade? Can't upgrade anything that I've actually got on, which is not helpful. Um, outfits. I can't upgrade the one that I've got, which is also not helpful. So, fun, fun, fun. Uh, pouch, though, can do that. Ah, me and I may as well. Alright, cool. Okay. Any chance you've got some weapons? Uh, no, probably not. Didn't think the Sky Commander himself would be joining us today. If there's a chance my challengers will be facing Regala, it is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the Bulwark. Careful now. Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops, if I were you. Yes. Love it. <laughs> you love to see it. Um, so where are we where are we heading exactly? This way, I guess? Yeah, that's the barricade. Alright. Yeah, I was just confused because, like, the thing was pointing that way. And, uh, decidedly I could not go that way. But that's fine. Here we go. There aren't as many of us as I'd hope there would be. But this is fine. Like, we'll manage... I mean, yeah, like, it's a good defense, sure, but how good is it really? Oh, well, we'll, we'll again, yeah, we'll, we'll manage. We'll make it work. Um, how do I get up here? Got a rock. This rock is going to be helpful. It's going to save me. Just you wait. Okay, so I can use this later on. Wait, really? I can't? Oh, there's a ladder there, really? <laughs> God damn it. I like how I'm missing all of the obvious things. My uh my my gameplay is on peak performance today. Focus on the machines. Take them down. And Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below. From above. Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. The cool root is upon us! Our struggle demands new blood! New leaders! Release the quarry! Challengers! Approach! Take down a machine. Shall be named Marshall. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did, and seize your glory.
the, the war commence. What kind of weapon is this? Okay, not bad. I like it. Now how much, oh jeez, how much ammo does this thing have? Unlimited or? Yeah, working on it. Oh, that one's gonna die. I like how I'm missing, that's good. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Oh jeez, you're you're a big boy, aren't you? And you're a dead boy. You've gotta die! You've gotta die! Oh jeez. Yeah, no, I gotta I gotta Oh we're out. Oh we're out. Oh are we now? That's not good. That's really not good. Because you've got some of the worst weapons to deal with. Oh boy. Yeah, no, we're in trouble. Uh, this is not impossible. It's just not going super well. Any chance there's another, like, heavy weapon anywhere? There sure is. I will take it, thank you. Same one, same one. Okay, great. Yeah, they gotta die. Is there like an indication that says how much ammo this thing's got? I'm not seeing one if there is. I'm also, to be fair, looking at my... what I'm aiming at and not my gun, so... You know, there is that as well. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll deal with this thing. This, this thing is way more of a threat. Yeah, this, this thing's gotta go down. I know what's gonna happen. I'm not gonna kill everything with these guns. Yeah, there it is. I'm not gonna kill everything with these guns. And then something massive is gonna come. Something really, really big. And I am going to be absolutely, totally screwed. I'm out of it! <laughs> I'm out of the cannon, I can't really fire it if it's gone. Unless there is another cannon. Which I'm not seeing, if I'm being honest. Is there a different one over here? Oh, there might be one over there, actually. Okay, fine, I'll take it. Okay, there is... Okay, there are many, many cannons. To be fair, I can't deny, you make a fine point. We good? Okay, there are two more cannons, so worst case scenario, we'll, we'll be fine. I doubt this is over.
It's just so cool and so terrifying. So what are you weak to? Let's find out, maybe? That'd be nice. Okay, you're weak to fire and... Fire and EI. So any chance that weapon's gonna come along like right now? Cause you know what, I, I could use it now. Uh, now now I I'd, I'd welcome it right this very moment. Anyone anyone manning the guns? I'm surprised no one was manning the guns, honestly. Like even as a precaution, not a single person. Oh good, thank you. That's that's great. Uh, where do I need to be exactly for this to work? Oh, that's not good. Jesus. Yeah, again, what what position do I need to be in? Any any will do. I hope you don't miss. Wipe it out. In your own time. Yeah, no. Take take all the time you need. Oh, that's nice. I thought I stunned it for a second there. Ugh, I think I did. Oh, yeah, you got it. Nice one, nice one. Good, good job, everyone. Ooh, I gotta move, I gotta move, I gotta move. Firing. Nicely done. Loving the work you're all doing. Really appreciate the fact that I'm not dead yet. Thank you. Ow, it's fine. So the one that came underground, was that just like... Was that just... Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. Uh, was that just like designed to explode on impact? Because that's crazy. Are you done? Ugh! That's great! Oh my gosh! Take all the time you need. I'm stuck here. Okay. This is wild. Stop with the pain. You close yet? Ah, oh, not even. Okay. Whoa! This fight is actually insane. Do I have anything that's like really good against you? Not really. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoa! Nice, love it. I don't love that. Oh! Up the shot. Oh, was it actually you that dug in here? Oh, I guess it could be. I thought you just followed suit. I'm assuming every time you fire, it's gonna hit regardless of where it is, right? I'm making that assumption, hoping it is accurate. <laughs> Whoa. Hold on, We're reloading. Thank you. You take your time. As this happens, ugh, uh, the the true bad guys are presumably uh, making their way to the leader, which is not great. Okay, cool. Working on it. I could use this. Thank you. Okay, well that's gone. I should really move. I'll need this. Yeah, I'm working on it. Oh, jeez, I didn't see that, sorry. Yeah, I don't know why I'm saying sorry. I'm the one who got hit. Sorry to myself and Aloy. Where are you going? Where are you? I mean, besides there. You're close, right? Yeah, you're kind of close. This ain't good. No, not in here. Not in here. <laughs> Got he. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, and I'm still... I'm, I've been holding on all this time. Nothing about that has changed. The great news is here, you can get it, no problem. I assume. Uh. 
Oh no, that's bad. That's real bad. Oh jeez, it's such a powerful move. I assume you stopped, you have not stopped. Any chance you're done with the electricity? Any chance you're ready with that weapon as well? Oh! Go, 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 go! This is it! This is the death! This is it! Right, uh, I want as much as I can get from you. Any chance I can go back and get the, uh... Nah, I was gonna say, I can get the stuff from the others, because, you know, there, there was a lot of, uh... of machines we destroyed. I'd love to collect everything that they held. Because that, that's, that's a lot of stuff, you know? Champion, get the machine. Working on it. Yeah, you're screwed, mate. I like that you keep you keep going even though they're very much very dead. I'm obviously going to steal everything from every rebel because it would be silly not to. Finished. I'll be back with everything I have. And all who stand with Akaro will be run red. At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished with Darla. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the ten. I thought I died. <laughs> what a tragic end <laughs> would that have been? Oh, uh, that would have been 
kind of funny, albeit tragic, but yeah. Time to go home. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring ether support and function to original code. Got it. Now to get this back to Gaia. The vision from the globe has changed. The world of the ten are now clear. We did it. One down. Many to go. All of the visions are changed, and this one just arrived. So I'm going to get a passage all over the place, clear to one of the main building. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So I go to that. What is that? Ah, just supply. Okay. Yeah, in a minute, I'm just checking stuff. Be right with you. Okay, I guess that's everything. All right, I'm, I'm coming. Yeah, no, I'm coming. Thank you, boy. That was fun. Aloy, here. Let's talk. Is that a White House? The visions throughout the Grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest, has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction as we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. Can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. 
A friend of yours. Should be interesting. All right. I need to get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms, too. Maybe worth checking out. Okay. Let me have a t let me take a little look at them while we have us. For a covert operation deep within the rainforest. What it must have been like to lie in the Huh. Whether at home or abroad, JTF-10 protected assets critical to the insurrection. Deep in the jungle, concealed by mud and darkness, they laid their traps for their enemies. So it's basically fixed, all of them. Huh, interesting. Well, I guess we should go back and uh, check out uh, Guy. I like that there's uh, now a bunch of side quests, but I'll do them another time. Because, yeah, we should we should move on with the plot. we got to head back to Gaia. Because we can't do anything else without uh, without replacing, like, emptying the, the, the tank, as it were. Um, so, yeah, the, the base. Go to the base. Here we go. Oh, and Erend might be here by now as well. Maybe. I don't know for sure. That'd be cool. It's been a while. Uh, I guess... Am I at the very bottom? Yes, that's not uber helpful. I mean, it's not unhelpful, but it's not where I wanted to be. I'd prefer not to climb it again, but I don't know, I'll just climb it, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. No, I really liked that. I, I, I found myself saluting the, uh, the cause at the end. <laughs> We don't need more. Yeah, like this? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line to your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy. Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Varl said you might need some help after all, doing uh, complicated things. We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Oh, and I delivered your message to Talana. She headed for that Asaram camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. Is it me, or did the old ones just look funny? Funny how? Uh, they're clothes. They're weird. They're so tight. For once, I'd have to agree. I'd rip those things to shreds in a fight. Guess they didn't move around as much. Wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, 
and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. But with the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, we'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Paul. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, a tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Formal. That one Zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. How's, uh, training with Zell? You know we really are training. Mostly. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory. And All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside. Without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. I'm guessing you've spoken with Catalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. I told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. <laughs> for a second I thought I was talking to my mother. Never thought a Tanakh than a Nora warchief could have so much in common. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Errant definitely curses the most. But I'm hoping Osiram's stubbornness prevails. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. Think you can hold the fort while I'm gone? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe. We'll be fine. Farrell looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. Have you gone back to playing song at all? I thought about it. But I wouldn't know what to tell them. The chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all this. No. For now, I must leave the tribe behind. I've been meaning to ask. What's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaro who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms, others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the fallen. I couldn't have been easy, seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. 
When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong, day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but there weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zoe. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned, to demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the Chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on. But we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakh defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the Cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open, and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled, I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plain Song. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. So, how does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakh? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. I believe I've met them already. Did Gaia tell you anything about Zenus? She did. Though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here. It is... humbling, to say the least. And heartbreaking. That such life should be bent on destroying ours. What are you up to? Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the old ones. She helped me decipher some of the... data you've collected, and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but... it's been working so far. That's good to hear. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us, so we could regain control of our lands with her terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much metal. Sounds like you met my friend Talana. Yes. 
The Karja Huntress. I haven't seen armor like hers since the Red Raids. But Varl tells me that she too suffered at the hands of the Mad Sun King. Yeah. She's one of the good ones. Trust me. You've spoken with Katala? A few words. Tanakhs don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. Past, but reborn? <laughs> Not that I claim to understand how. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. Right, I should probably go. I shall return to our training then. Hey. Hey. A nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh, why you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. <laughs> There's nothing I can't handle. Right. I was hoping you could help me with something. It's about the Tanakh rebels, and it also has to do with the Osirum. Really? That doesn't sound good. Let me know what I can do to help. I discovered an Osirum militant group. They call themselves the Sons of Prometheus? It looks like they're the ones overriding machines for the Tanakh rebels. I thought that was something only you could do. They're familiar with ancient tech. And they're as anti-Karja as it gets. So, last year we stopped Durval and his cronies from blowing up Meridian in retribution for the Red Raids. And now you're telling me we have another group of Asaram trying to wipe out the Karja with... with an army of machines and bloodthirsty Tanakh? Pretty much. Oh, well, that's just great! Is there any way you can help me find out who they are? Anything to track them down and stop them? Yeah, I can send out some messages from Chainscrape. Get in touch with my contacts in the claim, see what I can find out. I'd appreciate that. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things. Thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sunday. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land when he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. So, Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. Oh, and 
I'll let you know if I find out anything more about the Sons of Prometheus. The same here. I'm telling you, the old ones put blades on their feet and... Ooh, what we got here? Lots. Okay, I'll take them. <laughs> Not bad. Um, yeah, that was really cool. I really liked that, just, you know, catching up with everyone. But we're not done, Looks because, like hi, you're here. Changed. How you going? Aloy. It's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the... vision you keep in this place. Gaia, and gave me this focus. I don't pretend to fully understand everything. But all I really need to know is where to train, and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. You've had some time with the team now. Any thoughts? I admit, I was surprised to see Nutaru here. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. I'm told she rallied some in her tribe against the Karja, and fought all the way to Baron Light. Interesting. Perhaps I'm mistaken. What I really love is that obviously there's so many, there's, there are, all of them are in such different cultures. Some obviously less trusting than others, but they're all learning that they were always wrong about their misgivings and their misjudgments and their, their bias and their prejudice. And it's just so cool to see them like just being friendly. This is awesome. Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So, I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This Hephaestus, it will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? Sadly, yes. And they were much, 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 much worse. <laughs> So, yeah. You said the Bulwark was your home a long time ago. That you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. That's all you're going to tell me? Fine. As you wish. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero, and I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Cool Root by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. Never occurred to him but I had no interest in rising above my station. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Root? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Root, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command, even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile, guised as an honor. 
one he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal, and never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. When we were at the Bulwark, the guard said something about the wings of the Tem. Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Route. Decca, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess, and it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the Cool Route. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom and the awe it must have inspired. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well, I'm honored he lent me his best marshal. At least for a little while. Indeed. I should go. Feel free to check in on Hakaro and your people. Doors always open here. I will. May the ten walk with you. Okay. Well, only one thing to do now. It's good to see you again, Gaia. Got a present for you. How different would this be? Depending on the order you did these, like he, like like he wouldn't be here until like the end. That'd be crazy. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Aluthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Aluthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Aluthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there... ...or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Aluthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus... The Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. 
Right. So maybe it's not them then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay. And what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Well, that's cool. That's very cool. Oh, nice. That's a lot of experience. Did I level up from that as well? If not, I must be very close. Aloy, I was able to unlock another room in the main living area. Good to know. I'll check it out when I can. Uh, which is the, the main room that you just opened? Um... This is new, I think, maybe? Looks like someone's put some of my stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. <laughs> your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. That was That's nice. thoughtful of them. Huh. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here, where it'll be safe. Oh, that's cool. Elizabeth put all of her faith in Gaia. And Gaia put all of her faith in me. If I can do it all, recover the subfunctions, defeat Farzineth, heal the world. I'd like to think Elizabeth would be proud. Oh, beyond. <laughs> My old spear. Rust helped me make it. And I finished my training. Feels like so long ago now. When Varl found me after the Hades Proving Lab, I thought I saw Rost. I don't think he'd understand any of this. Or what I have to do. But still, I wish he was here. Hmm, yeah. This is the rite of passage that Vashav gave me at the embassy. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. I think he was really looking forward to going home. When I met Hikaro, I figured he was just another bloodthirsty warlord. But Vashav is right. Hikaro wants peace. It won't be easy. But with his new marshals, maybe his vision has a chance. Yeah, I really like this. This is really nice. Like having your own room, being able to see stuff like this. It's cool. So there's another room open that I didn't have access to? Oh, no, I think that was probably it. Locked until Gaia can restore access. Oh, actually, this... What was this room for? This was intended to be a recreational room for control center operatives. Unfortunately, the entertainment modules were lost with the Apollo database. Hmm. That's too bad. Yeah, that's a shame. That would have been nice. Um, yeah, okay. So I want to look at the map quickly. Oh, wait, because well, we're inside. Okay, scratch that. I'm going to go to skills then. Before we end this very long video. What do I want? Survivor is going to be helpful for sure. But how helpful? 
Is there anything on Warrior that I want? No, I don't think so. I'm probably going to need that eventually, so I may as well get it. Um, what's these? Cheshire Spear? No, there's no pass. No. Power Tux doing more damage. So basically, now nah, I'm fine. Okay, so traps. What do I want on traps? Is there anything I specifically want? This might be helpful. This might be helpful. In fact, scratch that. It will be helpful. I'm going to get that. That is, that is really good. Uh, take this damage from doing that. No, please try faster on the field. No. Yeah, I think I'm fine with that, honestly. I think traps and traps and warriors done. So it's now... What have we got down here? Never going to use that. I know that much. The concentration, concentration limit. Just shot. I mean, this would be helpful. I know it would be helpful. What damage using a heavy weapon? That that might be really helpful. Like it's easy to mock because like I'm not gonna be using heavy weapons often, but when you do use them, boy, they are helpful. So actually, I think I will do that. And I think with that. Build a Bala faster. Yeah, I'm not really going to use that. I don't think I'm going to use that much. I think that's everything I want here. So the three on the left, we're just done for now, basically. I need to try and remember that. These three are done. These are the ones I need to focus on now. I need to try and genuinely remember that. But uh, yeah, now's a good time to end. Thank you very much for watching. Next time, we're going to get out of here and head to the next place. So I'll see you then.